All right, welcome to the Texas Baseball Ranch. I'm Coach Wolforth, and I'm coming to you with a new series that we've just created for YouTube, and that is called Ranch True Stories from the Ranch. And this is story number one. I'm going to be uh, coming to you many times over the upcoming weeks and months with stories that have occurred. We're now um, almost in our 20th year um, as, as working with athletes. And so we've accumulated many stories that I think a lot of you need to hear. And I think this is a, a great one to start with. So true story number one is whatever happens if you have a coach that looks at you in the eye and says you'll never be a pitcher. You're never going to be able to be in college. You're never going to be able to throw it 90 miles an hour. Uh, you're going to have that. We just had a young man that was uh, 16 years old that uh, was at 81 at one of his, uh, his team tryouts and the coach come up to him and said, you know what, you need to just, this pitching thing isn't going to be for you. You need to just go another direction. And so you hear that story over and over and over again, and certainly at 16 years old, there are people that believe that they can tell you what and who you're going to become. So let me talk to you about these stories. This young man was the third best pitcher entering his senior year at Springwoods High School. His third, his third, the third best pitcher on his varsity high school baseball team. This young man also would finish his, his senior year with one scholarship offer, and that scholarship offer was to San Jacinto Junior College. Who was this young man? Well, it's the Rocket, Roger Clemens. So even at uh, 18 years old, we did not know this guy would turn in to the, probably the best pitcher of our generation. What about this guy? Well, this guy was cut from his varsity high school basketball team as a sophomore in high school. He went home, he cried, locked himself in his room, and he cried, and he came out a different guy. Who is this young man that, when he was uh, 15 years old, was actually cut from his varsity high school team? Well, that man became the greatest basketball player in NBA history. So even though at 15, the world might not have known this guy was special, he ends up to becoming the greatest basketball player of all time. What about this guy? Here's a story of a young man that uh, had very few college scholarship offers, finally got one, went to the University of Michigan, uh, did, had a very good career, was splitting time most of the time at the University of Michigan. Uh, and finally decided and finally went into the professional draft and went in the sixth round. For those of you who do not know much about the NFL draft, the draft usually only goes seven rounds deep. He was the sixth quarterback chosen in that draft, and no one thought that he would be anything more. Uh, matter of fact, most people didn't even think he would be able to stick on a uh, NFL team, let alone become a starter. And who was this guy? Well, he becomes the greatest quarterback, uh, arguably, in NFL history. So even as a college player, we did not know how special Tom Brady is. We obviously didn't know how special uh, uh, no, uh, Roger Clemens was in high school. We didn't know how special uh, Michael Jordan was in high school. But even in college, we, were not, we didn't know how special Tom Brady was going to become. This young man uh, was a very good um, uh, high school and college basketball player, but really was uh, not viewed to be uh, anything more than a role player in the NBA. He was, he was a very successful college player, uh, but, but he was a little bit undersized, uh, wasn't viewed as very physical, and was, was really thought of as going to be very difficult for him to play more than just a, a minor role in the NBA. Who is this man? Well, he's the first uh, unanimous MVP in NBA history. His name is Steph Curry. So um, even in college, we didn't know he would become uh, this person, the greatest, uh, uh, had the greatest single basketball year of any uh, uh, player probably in NBA history. Like I said, the first, think about how long NBA is having MVP awards. He was the first unanimous pick. And finally, this young man, as a freshman in high school, uh, certainly doesn't look very intimidating. 
certainly doesn't look like he's really a very special player um, and, and really was overlooked and was throwing uh, basically in the high 70s and low 80s. And he turned into four. Uh, now one of the hardest throwers in Major League uh, Baseball today. So we certainly didn't know at 15, 14, 15, 16 years old who he was going to turn into. So the next time someone actually tells you, well, I don't think you can be this, especially when you're 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, I'm going to keep going, 25 years old, a lot of times they don't know where you're going to end up. They don't know who you're going to become. And I believe at the Ranch Police, you need to believe in the power of your dreams. So that concludes our first story at the ranch and what a good one to, to start with um, as an introductory uh, to all the stories that are gonna come from the ranch because it's such an important story. So until I see you again, Keep the faith and keep getting after it.